David, thank you very much for your time today. Can you tell me more about the um, technology and the products you got on display at Soldier Technology this year? Absolutely. Keoptic were experts in uh, night vision equipment, uh, both for surveillance and target acquisition. Um, that really falls into two main areas, two main product groups, uh, one being image intensification and the other being thermal. We're showing a range of different sites here, uh, some of which are legacy equipment that are currently in equipment uh, in, in service and have been in service for some time, uh, and some are, are more developmental units that we're showing. I have an example of a, a couple of units in, in front of me here. Um, the first is Merlin Short Range. Uh, this is an inline image intensification uh, site. Uh, a lot of our products are classified by the range, uh, either detection, recognition, identification. Short range, generally we're looking about uh, one and a half kilometres uh, area. It's designed to clip on easily in front of a day site, an existing day site on a weapon, and provide that uh, capability in low light conditions uh, in either uh, starlight or moonlight. We're also showing uh, the next unit is actually a fused unit, so it has the benefits of image intensification, but additionally has thermal as well. So in a zero light environment, you can look for the, the signature you can look for the signature uh, of the body heat. Uh, that gives you uh, added benefit that you can actually see uh, handprints or footprints that are left behind. So it's not only the, the body target, but also different signatures too. Um, the fused unit uh, is, again, designed to be either handheld or in line with an existing day site. Uh, it has a, a high profile, but it can be mounted to the side on a weapon rail. Um, and really, we've done a lot of user trials with that, got some good feedback. Actually, uh, we're grateful to receive an award here at Soldier Technology uh, at the last conference, um, and that is our, one of our latest units. Also thermal, we're showing a range of compact units. This is a, a very small uh, compact uh, thermal imaging unit called Dragon Compact, designed to be either used on a weapon rail or handheld in a particular configuration, again, for target acquisition uh, or for actually uh, aiming a weapon uh, at a target. Very small unit, very lightweight, uh, but very capable, so gives that zero light capability. So that's the broad range of the different product types that we're showing. We have some other units uh, that are smaller, uh, and for such as uh, monocles or, or goggles that are uh, uh, in individually issued to the soldier, so that'll be on their person, in their pouch, um, or actually on a weapon system too. Um, so that gives you a flavour of, of the different things that we're showing here at Soldiers at Home. Thank you. What, can you tell me, what are your key challenges over the next few years, do you see? The challenges we're seeing that, that really come back through the user community and through, through the customers that we're seeing uh, issues and, and looking at budget availability and also obviously this drawdown of forces that the, the armed forces are coming out of operational theatres uh, and moving more to readiness or in, in different theatres. So we're seeing uh, more of a focus on long-term support, so contractor logistic support. That's making sure that equipment is available, the capability is retained, even though the usage patterns have changed, the deployments have changed. But also that means you're looking at your current equipment, your future equipment, but also your legacy, what's in service. You can manage that, you can make sure the capability remains in place, so you can make sure that it's there for the current and also for future operations. So we're really trying to meet the customer's challenges that are to do with that drawdown, that change in the force structure, uh, looking towards Force 2020 and beyond. Okay. David, thank you very much for your time. Greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you.